Hello, in today's video, I'm going to talk about another study resource that I use, and that study resource is Anki. Uh, that's spelled A-N-K-I, and there are probably thousands of videos, hundreds of videos online on YouTube explaining how to use Anki, what Anki is, uh, what Anki settings to use. I'm not really going to go into how to use it, uh, but I did want to just go into uh, one of the decks that I use for Anki. But before I go into that, let me explain. Anki is a flashcard app and it uses spaced repetition to learn different subjects or to study for different tests. So you'll, have, you'll do the flashcard app, you'll turn it on, and let's say you get the flashcard correct, and one day you'll see it again. Get it correct the next day, and you might see it in three days. And then after that, it might be six days, or it may be 12. And it'll continuously increase until you get it wrong, and then it may go back down, depending on your settings. So anyway, so people can either make their own flashcards, which takes a lot of time, or you can use a pre-made deck of flashcards. There are numerous decks online that people can find and use. Um, today, I'm going to talk about one in particular which is called Anking, that's A-N-K-I-N-G. And this is the website where you go to get Anking, ankypalace.com. And they have Anki tutorials. Um, they have a lot of different uh, great information on this website on how to use Anki, what is Anki, things like that. I know on PC, the Anki app is free. Uh, I guess on iOS, it's uh, $25. But honestly, if I paid $50, it would be worth it. Now, I know what a lot of people are going to say. Anki was made famous by people who are in medical school, right? Medical students. And so today, I really want to talk about how does Anki help a nurse practitioner student? Um, in what ways can you use it as a nurse practitioner student, right? And a lot of the pre-made decks that you'll see here, you go to On King Overhaul, and they have MCAT decks, Step 1 decks, Step 2. For those that don't know, Step 1 and Step 2, these are tests you take to become certified as a physician um, in the United States or the uh, USMLE. So all of these decks here, most of them are geared towards medical students. So for a nurse practitioner program, you're going to have a lot more in-depth uh, things uh, like the topics are a lot more in depth. Uh, there's going to be things on embryology. There's going to be things on immunology, um, you know, biochemistry, things like that, that you may not need for your program. But honestly, more, the way I look at it is more information and more knowledge is better than less. So I have been using, there's a step one deck and a step two. I would say out of those two decks, Step two is more geared towards, uh, would be better for nurse practitioner students, right? Because it's going to go into the management of patients, uh, what medication you use for this, what signs and symptoms of this, uh, things like that. So anyway, so you can go in here and you can click and you can download the different decks and it'll tell you what all's in it. And at first, you know, I'm reading this and I'm like, well, what is Zonky? What is it? So these are, it, what on, on King is, it takes a lot of popular decks and combines them into one huge deck. And in this deck, there are about 37,000, yes, 37,000 card, flashcards. I don't even know how to wrap my mind around that. Uh, it's a lot. Uh, for a lot of people I've seen online, they, they talk about it's oh, kind of overkill um, and probably too much for uh, an MP student. But um, I have been using it. And anyway, so you go on the website. There's, there's a ton of things here. Frequently asked questions. They have a course that even teaches you how to use it. Because um, it, it can be pretty in-depth, right? So, but I'm, like I said, I'm not going to go into that. But what I will do is kind of show you. So I customize mine. Typically, you don't have a background like this. Um, I kind of need to mess with the settings a little more because you can't really read right here, uh, you know, under daily average, days learned. You can't really see that too well. 
um, but it but it keeps track like these little blue things are all the days you've studied since I've downloaded this deck it's only been a few days uh, I missed one day I was upset about it but I had a bunch of assignments to do and I just couldn't get to it but anyway so on King it'll tell you you have uh, 70 right here it says I have 71 cards due today each day you log in to how many cards are due and how many of those cards are new um, you can further expand it and there are all these different uh, decks within it like I said there's a step two this is very hard to see on this background though um, I just love space and I love the background but uh, what I will show you is if you go to browse it will pull up a bunch of different things here right and you can go in and see exactly what cards uh, are in the deck right and there are a lot of pictures in here if you get the uh, i think there's two versions the version without pictures the version with pictures uh, i forgot how many gigabytes uh, the, the file is it took me a little while to download it uh, I don't have the fastest connection. But anyway, so there are a ton of other resources, right? Like Amboss, uh, many people may have heard of. And you click on Amboss, and, and it'll have all of these different flashcards that they have pulled from Amboss, right? Uh, or that they have made out of Boards and Beyond. That's B&B, &B, Boards and Beyond. These are all different um, study websites that people can go to. And that's where the images, things like that, are from. MBME, again, that's, uh, I want to I say they call it a shelf exam. I'm, I'm not really sure on that. Um, those, uh, you know, they'll have different images. You can look at x-rays. I mean, there's just tons of things. I used Pathoma when I was in my pathophysiology class. It's a great resource. So they have questions just based off of Pathoma. There's a book and videos for Pathoma. And what this does is you go to that chapter, like say you're in uh, chapter six and you're talking about, uh, or, or let's, let's say chapter eight, you're talking about the cardiac uh, system. And these are all the cards just associated with the cardiac system that you go over in um, chapter eight of uh, Pathoma, right? Um, anyway, so you can go through here, you have Sketchy, they have Pixarize, they have Physio, Pathoma, uh, we already talked about, sorry, UWorld. Uh, a number of different websites and tags that you can go in. Um, you can go in and you can search and you can say, um, I don't know, say stroke, the word stroke, and it'll pull up everywhere where stroke appears. Look at all those cards, just on stroke alone. And it's truly amazing. It's, a, it's an amazing resource. So what I have been doing um, is in order to study this more effectively as a uh, again as an MP student stuff like biochem for example right I don't really need to know biochem right now as a nurse practitioner student I'm not saying this information isn't uh, very valuable but honestly most of these flashcards would be over my head and I wouldn't understand them so for those cards you can where it's in yellow here, that means I have suspended them. You can suspend the cards under that tag. So that way, when I'm doing my daily th my daily uh, review, they do not pop up. Um, every day, I think 20 new flashcards pop up. I really need to increase that. But right now, I'm just starting slow, trying to get into the hang of it. Um, but anyway, it's just, a, again, a general overview. I think it can be very helpful for MP students. I think that if you're an MP student and you download this deck, this On King deck, you're going to want to suspend a lot of the cards that do not apply to your program or what you're learning at the time. Um, embryology, again, uh, biochem, things like that. But, you know, when you get into a lot of the pathophysiology and stuff, you can learn it in a lot uh, better depth um, than what you may learn in your MP program, right? So you can also add cards, right? This is how you add cards. You can add your own cards. Um, you can go to the statistics and it shows you uh, 
uh, what, you know, how many reviews you've done. I've only reviewed like 300 cards so far, something like that out of the 37,000. I think there's a breakdown here of total cards. Yeah, it was like 37,000. I've suspended all except for like 3,000 right now because I'm just going in by subject and um, I'm unsuspending as I go in school. But anyway, you can add your own cards. Uh, but anyway, so overall, on King is a great resource. Uh, it's a great deck. It's got 37,000 cards, like I said, or more. Um, and some of the questions, like for example, here's one of the questions. It'll block out what um, the answer is. You come down here, you, you, know, you try to guess, you click show answer. And it'll say that you know red neurons. And again, if I if I encounter something that I feel like is maybe above my level right now, or uh, that is very difficult to understand, I won't um, I won't uh, keep studying that card. I'll I'll delete that card or suspend it. But um, Anki has a lot of wonderful knowledge. Um, I mean, there's slides, histology slides, things like that. And then you just kind of go in and you say, you know, in 10 minutes, you need to see that card again. Or was it hard? You need to see it in 12 hours a day if it was good. And if it was easy, five days. Um, there's a ton of different uh, set. Like I said, if you go to onkypalace.com, you can find different settings that people use. Uh, you can search online for the best settings. But really, this is just to tell people about the Onking deck itself. Um, Again, I, th I think it's a great resource. My, it's, I think even medical students would say it's a bit of an overkill, right? It's a bit too much. Uh, I was using another one, like it's a, whatever one that Osmosis used, you've seen me talk about before. Uh, they use um, uh, certain uh, um, decks, right? Um, let's see if I can pull this up. Anyway, so Osmosis uses, uh, I think it's Bro, Broencephalon, or I, I don't know the name. Um, and there's my cue there for flashcards in Osmosis. Um, and it's a smaller deck. It's 15,000 cards. So it's a little bit more manageable than the 37,000 of uh, Onking. But anyway, overall, I think Onking is great. I think there's a little too much uh, information for an MP student. I think you'd have to really go in. Suspend the cards, delete cards, but overall, I think I still do think it's a great resource. I'm going to use it every day now, um, and just see if that helps me with retention, helps me learn new things. I can add my own cards that are more specific to my program, um, and add them to that rotation. Um, but anyway, if anybody has any questions, uh, comments. Let me know because, uh, again, I'm new to Anki or, or using Anki on a regular basis, and, and I'm definitely new to Anki. Uh, but if you have any questions or if you have any tips uh, of things I can do, let me know. But uh, as always, everybody have a great day and like and subscribe.